It's Monday and we are out thrifting. We thought we'd take you with us for a day in the life of how we make money buying and selling junk. Yeah, we're gonna also probably end up at the shop too and show you a little bit of tour of that. Yep, we've gotta get some stuff put in because some things have sold. So you can see when you get here, there's a few people that come straight to the back because you gotta get fast to get the goods, especially on Monday. Seb's over there, if you can see his hat. He's headed to the yard. We always divide and conquer and we meet up. First thing I'm doing when I'm getting to the yard is I'm looking around, I'm looking to see if there's any furniture I can't live without. I'm always looking for pictures. They're easy to grab, they're easy to ship, they're pretty sturdy, like the design on this false graph one. And then I also spied this little bean pot crock up on the top shelf here. We don't find very many of these out in the wild, so I always grab them, love the look, and super utilitarian, always looking for things that are useful. This dish, it's not valuable, not precious. I'm not paying $5 for it, so I set that back. Here, I'm looking for various wood items, shelves, things with pegs that I can reuse, hooks, things like that. This galvanized milk jug, even though it's a repop, it's a great piece still. And then this wire basket, super useful. Always, always, we pick up Santa and Christmas if they're good. Doesn't matter what time of year it is. Framed art is always really good to thrift. I love finding something that just works already. I do sometimes pay a little more if it's something I love. These were in the $40, $50 range, which is more than I want to pay for framed art. But sometimes the frame itself is worth that without the art piece. That's just bonus if that works together. What'd you get here? $2 each. Nice. And I got four of them. A couple of quilts and um, some pieces. Cool. I actually really like them. You did good. Our thrift store is always pretty loaded on furniture. We don't need any extra furniture right now. We've got to clear out the garage. You'll see that in a little bit, but there are some good pieces here. Sometimes if they're only 10, 20 bucks, I can't pass them up. Some of these here though, that one was already sold and I love the four by fours on the front of the piano here. I'm sure you're gonna see me pass up a lot of items here on this shelf. Some are good, some could be easily painted, but we have a lot of stuff that needs painted right now. So I'm looking for stuff today that doesn't need any fixing. And then they always have a great selection of wreaths and all kinds of floral. You gotta be picky and choosy though. If it's not good quality, don't grab it. All right, so do you like the natural basket with the ball or the white basket? Yeah. Which one? When we're going through the wood aisle, we're always looking for things that we can add embellishments to, hooks, or just like a great base. Cause anytime we don't have to build something and we can just paint it and go, that's a win. We always like to look at collectibles because you just never know what you're gonna find under the glass. Every week, if it doesn't sell, they'll mark it down just a little bit more. Generally, I have to have something really marked down before I decide to buy it. This is the metal aisle. Don't sleep on these tins. They don't look great, but we can turn a 75 cent tin into something pretty awesome with IOD molds and a little bit of paint. We did make it to Savers. We have to be careful because their pricing is not the best, but sometimes they have things that we can't find other places. And as long as I can make a good profit, I'm willing to buy it and flip it. Books for five bucks, they're not special. Definitely not worth picking up. The tins are way overpriced here. I can get them for 75 cents at DI, so I will just wait for those. I will purchase a cute little pitcher for $2.99, made in Italy, as well as some enamel, baskets, canning jar, and a few other things that I could not leave without. When we're up in Draper, I like to check out Cactus and Tropicals in Dream. Their prices are way more than I can afford, but getting some ideas. I want a fountain bath, so we come here a lot just so I can drool. I found these for $55. Molly had them, my friend that used to own the store that we're at now. And I think it was a really good deal. I was planning on just taking them and getting off the chippy paint and sealing them. They'll look cute at the church. All right, this cute set is gonna hang out in the front yard at the church. People are like, you need to name it something. I'm like, eventually I'm gonna call it the shop. When the other shops. When the other the shop. shops, not the shop. So we have this big, huge, 100 year old pine tree. And we're gonna have a little set underneath it. Won't that be so cute? All right, so here it is. Eventually that'll go, that'll go, and this all be green. And someday there's gonna be a giant fountain right there. But 
I may have to sell a kidney. So we are um, starting to collect things for the shop. Let's just say that. So no judging when we open this garage door. All right, Zeb, let her rip. I mean, we just, we have a few things. Everywhere we go, we pick up a few things. Hey, but who sometimes <laughs> shops? I do a lot of the shopping, I can't complain. All right, so here's the vanity we did. It looks white, but I promise you it's baby pink. It's gonna be headed into the shop um, because we have a piece that's being shipped out. Okay, so this morning we've got first coats going on of some of the thrifted items that we got from the last haul. Actually, it might be two hauls. This is two hauls ago. Are you not painting her face or did she just get missed? I just haven't missed? got that far yet. <laughs> <laughs> I like to go little by little. This angel is very, very detailed. I'm probably gonna have to come back with like a little tiny artist brush and get a few spots. So we'll let this stuff sit for a little bit, let it dry, go do some other things, run some errands, come back, do finishing touches, second coats, things like that. On the items I painted in DIY's Farm Fresh, I'm just wet distressing them to bring out the detail. These dragonflies were all but lost until we pulled it out, and then we'll be ready for a white dry brush. This fairy didn't look too great in just gray skies, so we went ahead and added vintage pink on all the flowers and then to make it look like stone all we had to do was a white dry brush with white linen and it went from gray and drab to a stone finish and with a built-in sealer we were done jamie's using big top to seal this up this piece turned out great with a little bit of distress a little bit of dry brush with the white and then this piece is getting distressed also going to seal it with big top We've been using Big Top over the farm fresh a lot with the dry brush with the white linen from Cottage Colors because it's already got a built-in sealer and then we don't have to do anything else. We're done and the project is finished without having to wait for dry time on wax or buffing. Jamie's molding these flowers. We're going to put it on a little top of a wood box. Rolls out real nice and easy with cornstarch in the bottom of the mold. And then we use Gorilla Glue Max Strength Construction Adhesive. And then she's using a mix of vintage mint and white linen from Cottage Colors on this box. So this is the big white armoire that's going to be shipped out today. If you guys recall, we actually painted this live and we got it free and it is heavy. Zeb and I almost died, well me, getting it down the stairs of this lady's townhouse. But it's going to its new home, I think somewhere back east, so we're ready to move it along. Dark in that hall. Right. It's like junk in, junk out. If you've ever wondered what our back room looks like, people ask us all the time, what do you do with the stuff that doesn't sell? Out of hundreds of thrift halls, this is the only amount of stuff that's not on the floor. It's really not a lot of back stock. No. And some of that's just waiting to be pulled from last week or a couple weeks ago. Yeah. So some of it has pulled and we just haven't pulled it yet, but yeah, it's not too much. There's a rooster greeting us. Or, I don't know, is that a rooster? That's a big hen. Oh, that's just a big hen. I guess because I'm used to little chickens. Look how cool that is. I picked this up for $30 on Facebook Marketplace. Oh my and, goodness. And I'm not selling it. I'm saving it for my fiddle fig. It's about ready for it. Always bring muscle. Because of Zeb struggling, it really is heavy. So thanks for watching our day. It was actually like a day and a half. <laughs> Plus a week in between. <laughs> yeah, we finally got it done. But there's a lot that goes into thrift flipping. I hope it inspires you guys to take a second look at things at the thrift store. If you like these ideas or you want to buy paint for your own projects, go to JamieRayVintage.com. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY.